we have the file that you're starting with here and it's got all the fields that you need, all the static fields here. It's got almost nothing in the main except just that boolean. And it has all the methods you're going to need, however, there's nothing inside of them. Now they're all voids, so they don't need to return anything except to string returns a string, so I just returned an empty string. Obviously that's not the string, the correct string to return, we'll deal with that later. Here are the methods from the textbook and from the lecture videos this week. This print point is going to help us do this two string method because basically we're going to be returning that right there. Uh, I wanted my methods to look really similar, so whenever I used a point, I usually called it p, unless somewhere up here. The chase point required two points, so I didn't just call it, want to call them P1 and P2. So the regular point, the point that's moving is P, and then the other point is going to be called target point that we're not moving. All right, where to start? We're going to need a drawing panel, so let's go ahead and put that in. So we've already seen all this code. This makes a new drawing panel, 600 by 400. I personally zoomed it so it's double zoom for the video. You don't need to zoom it. You can just leave it at the uh, initial zoom of one. The reason I did a set background is because later we're going to need to erase everything on the screen. And the way we're going to do that is we need a background color. So here is the time to use background color instead of color.white, just in case maybe you want to change it to gray or any other color. Now you can do that. So now we have the background color set and you always need to get graphics. All right, we can run this and it should just put up a drawing panel, zoom twice, not doing anything though. We have no other code in there, so this is all I expected to see. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. This all basically creates a drawing panel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this, Control X, somewhere down here I made a create drawing panel I'm going to paste all this into here. Now I want to call this method. So we're going to copy it with the parentheses and we're going to put it back. We're going to paste it back where we grab this code from, which is right there, semicolon, tab, tab. All right, so this should do exactly the same thing. We're just going to create a drawing panel. There we go. And that's it but it works, it's 600 by uh, 400. You can move the mouse around just to check. All right, so we made our first method. Next up, we'll look at making our first point.